my channel. Today's video is the long-awaited makeup collection video. So I know this has taken a long time because the first time I was like, oh, I want to change all the organizers in my drawers. So I changed them. Then I still wasn't too happy with it. And then I ordered some different organizers and now I just put those in and I realized, ugh. I need more storage space. So I was gonna wait until I got more Alex 9 drawers to put into my walk-in closet to give more storage. Because right now I'm using these little plastic drawers and I hate those. So yeah, I was gonna hold off, but I was like, you know what, no. Nothing is ever going to be perfect. You just have to go ahead and film it and I will film an updated one once I get that closet done. So that is why this video has been delayed so much. But before we get into this video, if you guys are brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Madison. Feel free to subscribe right here. That way you get notified for future videos. And also, if you guys enjoyed this makeup collection video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, so now let's go ahead and get on into my makeup collection. Hey everyone, all right, so here is the overview of my vanity. Over here to the side, on the left-hand side, I have my big Alex Nine drawers. I will have all organizers. If I can find them, I will have them all linked down below. I will have all the names of the furniture linked down below for you guys as well. Also with the big picture that I always get asked about. You can actually get this at Z Gallery. I got mine at fineartamerica.com, but Z Gallery actually has it a lot cheaper, so definitely go check it out there. And then a lot of the decor stuff is from like Home Goods and Marshalls and stuff. But this is my overview of my vanity right here. But I just have my Alex drawers on the left-hand side, and then I have another IKEA desk, and I believe these are the Alex Six drawers on the right hand side that's a little bit lower but yeah let's go ahead and move on over to the top of the Alex Stein drawers real quick so I can show you guys what's on top of there and then what's inside the drawers as well all right so first off this is the top of my Alex 9 drawer and then as you go up here you guys can see all these flowers and this vase I believe this is actually from Pier 1 I will link it down below if I can find it and then the M canvas over here is actually from Home Goods I believe you can find them at Home Goods or Marshalls both of them have them and then down here we have some makeup. So I put all my MAC lipsticks in here. I actually have more MAC lipsticks in other drawers as well, but I fit as much as I can in here. You can buy these super cheap at Marshalls and Home Goods, you guys. Do not go buy them online. You can find them so much cheaper at Marshalls or again, Home Goods. And then I also got this little organizer right here from Zara Beauty. I believe this was a collab with Coffee Break with Danny, which is why there's a coffee on it. But yeah, I love this. I use it for my lip liners. I do kind of like the nude lip liners right here. I do color lip liners, and then I go into colored eyeliners, black eyeliners, and then liquid eyeliners. So I just have them all separated like that. So yeah, that is the top of my Alex 9 drawer, and then we're gonna go down here to the first drawer. All right, so in the first drawer here, I just have all my setting powders and powder foundations back there, and also I have some of my sprays in here too. This is my Pharmacy Skin Do Mist. I really love this stuff. I have Max 6 Plus for if I'm dealing with like any bad eyeshadows that need some extra pigmentation. And then also I have my blotting papers as well. I have some of my favorite setting powders in here, Givenchy, tons of Laura Mercier in here, um, Ofra, yeah, all that fun stuff. And I also took this little container right here, which I will have linked down below. You can buy these in a bunch of sets with all different sizes. I really like these containers right here, but I just use a small one to put my little puffs in. But yeah, so that is the first drawer. All right, so now we're in the next drawer here and Oh my goodness, when you start organizing your makeup, you really come to figure out what you have a ton of. And blushes come in a good second place in my makeup collection. I have so many blushes, so I actually have two drawers here. So this first one is filled with palettes and then a couple single blushes that I could not fit in the drawer below. But I have some of my favorites in here. I have my Too Faced ones that I've been loving. I have some of my liquid and cream ones as well because I've really been enjoying cream products. I have some of my palettes back here, which there's my Benefit one, here's my Urban Decay one, my Tarte one, which I actually just used yesterday and I really do like it. And then I also have my Tarte ones back here too, so this is kind of like the palette and like extra blushes drawer. And there goes Elsa. All right, so next up here I have my other blush drawer and I am loving the dividers. This one right here, I can't remember who it's by. Um, I will have it linked down below. I got it from Laura Lee because she had a code with these ones, so I just bought the set. But I love it because you just put each compact in one little divider. And then also with my Lorac ones right here, I can fit two in one of them, so that way I save some room. I also have some Jouer ones that I just stacked on the side just to keep these ones from rolling around. But yeah, I have some NARS ones right here. I have Sleek ones 
back there. Some It Cosmetics. Um, my favorite, which is Clinique, like Cheek Pops. I really love those. And yeah, ooh, some of my favorite also is Becca. Becca is amazing. But yeah, that is my other blush drawer. All right, so in this drawer, I have all of my concealers and color correctors in here. Again, I love these cases. I actually like these ones better than the clear ones up there and the blush one because I feel like you can just like kind of customize it to what you need it for and they also have these little hooks in them so they all snap in together so they're not going to slide around. That's why I really really like those. Elsa is dripping up on my leg right now. But again, I have my concealers and my color correctors right in here. I have so many you guys. I'm obsessed with concealers. My favorite one is Bare Minerals by far. I There's just not a better concealer out there. I love that. I've also been really enjoying the Too Faced Born This Way one. I have my Urban Decay, which is basically almost out. I probably won't repurchase that just because I like the bare skin one better. I also have the new Tarte Shape Tape right here. I haven't tried this yet. I need to try it. Definitely need to try that. And then over here in this little one, I have all my eyeshadow primers. So I've really been enjoying this one, which is the Bye Bye Lid Lines by It Cosmetics. I don't think they sell it anymore though, which is kind of a bummer. But I've also been enjoying the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish one. And then this is a new product that I'm gonna be hauling here shortly. And this is from Pure Cosmetics. And it's actually, look at it. It's actually a eye primer and you can use it underneath your eyes and on your eyelids. And it's so moisturizing and it keeps your stuff from creating Increasing. It's really been helping like underneath my eyes with my concealer, so I've really been enjoying this. And then over here I have all my pot concealers. I also have my like Bye Bye Redness right here from It Cosmetics. It's kind of thick, I don't use it that much. And then I have some other ones which is from Fiona Styles. My favorite right here is, look it's already almost gone, it's my Glow Minerals Camouflage Concealer. This is amazing, it's really light and thin on the skin but covers amazingly and it's also very hydrating, it's not drying at all so I really like this. But yeah, I have all like my pots in there, I also have a color correcting wheel from Ofra in there. I'm gonna move a little bit closer back here. So right here I have all of my like sharpeners and stuff to sharpen all of my eyeliners, my lip liners, and anything. You know, even like the fat ones too. So all my sharpeners stay in there. Okay, so next up this section is kind of hard to see, but this is all of my eyebrow products. Like all of my eyebrow products, which is crazy. So first off here, I have my Benefit Cabral. I actually got this at Sephora, like a free sample. It's like a tiny one. The full size is right here. I have two of these, I believe. And then I have my Dior eyebrow pencil. I have, this needs to go bye bye. This thing is like empty. I don't know why this is still in here, but that is my MAC brow set, which I really, really like. I definitely want to repurchase that. I also have the primer. I have the Urban Decay one, brow highlighting stuff, um, It Cosmetics. Um, what is this? Oh, this is the Brow Stylist Plumper. Don't like this, don't, I don't recommend it, not a fan of it. But yeah, that is my little brow section. So yeah, this is just like a mix of a drawer. It's concealers, eyeshadow primers, pots, sharpeners, and brow products, so fun stuff. All right, so next up here, I have all of my bronzers. Oh my goodness, I'm using another, I'm using two organizers in here that have little slots on the side and then they have bigger slots on the other side. So you could do like palettes and then like, you know, little eyeshadow palettes in there. That's a good idea, I might do that. I have to go get more of those. But I really do like this one. I just put two of those organizers in here. Again, they're gonna be linked down below so you guys will know. I'll even like label them, oh, this was in my bronzer drawer, this was in my blush drawer type of thing. So that way it's really easy for you guys. But here I have all of my bronzers. I have tons and tons of bronzers. So I have all my Too Faced ones right here on the side. I have some MAC ones back here, a Clinique one, which is also very old. Oh my God, this I was obsessed with this for so long and then I just moved on, but um, yeah, I also have my liquid bronzer in here. I have my Chanel one. I have, ooh, I have these two um, from Kevin Aquan. Let me know if you guys want to see a dope or nope on this because I really want to do a review on those. I've been enjoying them. So yeah, I just have some more bronzers, all my big like It Cosmetics ones, and then also an Essay Lauder one. Yeah, there's a lot. I also have a ton of bronzing palettes in here as well. I have my NARS one, which actually has some blushes. I use this today. I really, really love the blushes in there. And then I have my Kat Von D, my Lorac one, and then I have Anastasia, which I'm not a fan of either. I don't know why I still have them. I just keep them in here. 
And then I have It Cosmetics and stuff. But yeah, my favorite one by far is Kat Von D. Kat Von D is an amazing contour palette if you guys are looking for one. So that is my bronzer drawer. Now let's move on. All right, so next up in this drawer, I have all of my foundations. I want to find a better way to store my foundations, but this is what's going right now. So I have a bunch of my like It Cosmetics CC Cream ones that are like huge. You can't even stand them up because the drawer won't close. So I have those in here. I have L'Oreal Infallible. And then also over here are more of my foundations. So I have all my Too Faced Born This Way. You guys can see how much I love that foundation. I have five of them there. Holy moly, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, there are like a bunch of them. I think two of them are in porcelain and then three of them are all in different shades and because it's so hard to match me. But um, yeah, then I have also two of my hourglass ones, which I love. And then I also have a Makeup Forever one, face and body. I'm dying to try out the new one though. I really want to try out the new one. Here I have the Makeup Forever HD. It's a little bit too drying on my skin, so I don't use that one too much unless I'm like, you know, really oily. This is one that I have been using nonstop and it is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow. I actually did a review on this. I actually have been mixing this with the Cover of X Drops and it's perfection. I really, really like it. But yeah, there is my foundation drawer. All right, so now we are on to my palettes. So in here I have, I think this palette divider right here is from Algory. I will have it linked down below. And then I also have one of those other little white ones right here that I just put all these together. And then these other ones are just sitting in the corner. This one right here is a Lorac Pro 3 palette. I've been using this a ton. I'm actually planning on doing a dope or nope on this one. So I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it. And then I also have some more palettes right here. I have my Belfiore, which I actually have a code for if you guys want to check it out. It's down below. You guys can save like 20% off or something. They're really good eyeshadows. I definitely recommend those. And then I have all of my Kat Von D ones right here. I have all of her palettes. I have my Anastasia ones right here. I have my Too Faced like peach ones, Sweet Peach, which by the way, you guys, is coming back for the holidays. Get excited, I know I am. So gonna do that. I have the Manny's one right here from Makeup Geek, which I also really like. It fits perfectly right there. And then over here I have all my Chocolate Bar palettes and then I have my Urban Decay ones as well. And then I have more over here. I have a lot of palettes. Palettes are the number one thing in my collection and then blushes are a close second. But yeah, palettes are insane. All right, so the very bottom drawer is filled with palettes as well. It's insane with how many palettes, you guys. And there's still another drawer on the other side of my desk that has a ton of palettes in it. It's crazy. So all of these ones right here are my Buxom ones. So I have all my little Buxom palettes right here. I'm obsessed with those. I have my peanut butter jelly time palette right here as well. Kat Von D, um, all my Tarte ones right here, Sigma. I have another Lorac one, more Lorac, Tarte, um, Too Faced, um, Pure Cosmetics, Makeup Forever, more Sigma. And then I have all my little Tarte palettes back there as well. That is the end of that drawer. Hello, my slipper. All right, so now let's go ahead and move on to my desk. And this is a little overview of it right here. As you guys can see, it looks very similar to all my pan shots because I take my pan shots right on top of my vanity. Okay, so first off right here, I have my original beauty box. This is the smaller version. And if you want to save 15% off, you can use the code love madison 15 i have it linked down below for you guys it will always be there if you ever want to go and order it all right so now we're on top of the original beauty box so i have a lip organizer up here it's a lipstick organizer from again i think it's from marshall's you get them for so cheap there you guys don't order them online go get them at marshall's so i have all my lancome ones up here because just because they look so pretty and then i have my clinique lip pops too which i absolutely love and then I have a lot of my gold ones. So I have some from YSL, all YSL right there, Too Faced, um, Tarte, Urban Decay. So I have those up there. I also have my little beauty blender right here with the little bling set. I also have my Tarte one right there and then a little concealer one as well. I think those are pointless. Don't waste your money on those. I recommend the black beauty blender. The black one is amazing. All right, so now moving down to the first drawer, I have all of my ColourPop lippies right here. There, look at there's even more in the back. It's insane. So I have all color pop right there I love that I can see what they are 
perfect. I just ordered another beauty box because I am out of space. I need one so bad. So I also wanted to tell you guys that in this beauty box is all lip products. It's mainly all liquid lipsticks except for the color pop sticks up here, but it's all liquid lipsticks down here. So I actually color coordinated everything. I didn't organize it by brands. I wanted to organize it by color because it's just so much easier that way. Okay, so here's the first drawer. I took it out just to make it easier. If this video is at all out of focus at all during it, I'm so sorry. It's so hard to film this. But in this first one, I have more of like my hot pinks and my corals. And then over here are all my reds. So I have like Too Faced Melted Matte, which are amazing. Love these. I have the Tartiste ones. Um, Too Faced, NYX. Gosh, Kat Von D. So over here we have my reds and I have my Kylie Lip Kits. I actually have like some oranges in here too. But I have, oh my gosh, I have the Ciate ones which are amazing. I think you say Ciate or Ciate. I don't know how to pronounce it, but these are amazing. Love these ones. They're, not, they're definitely not raved about enough, I've noticed. But I really like those ones. Too Faced again are really good. More Kylie Lip Kits. Oh, I have my metalized one in here just because it looks red, like it works. So this side is actually a little bit more of the reds and the oranges just because I really don't have very many of either. They're not like my go-to color. All right, so here is the second drawer out of there. And over here I have my purples and a little bit of mauves and then I have my browns. So first off is the shade, which is Queen Bee from Too Faced Melted Mattes. Love this shade, it's one of my favorites. I highly recommend it. Um, some melted chocolates right here. Um, I don't know why this one's in here, but this is Kai Majesty. I haven't even tried this yet. I'm gonna be doing a review on all of her new shades that I have not shown yet on my channel. So be expecting that very soon. So I will be trying that out shortly, but that's just in here because I really don't have black lipsticks. Those are my mauve and purple shades. And then over here I have my brown shades. So I have some more chocolate ones, Galactic, um, some more Kylie lip kit ones. I think this is like King K or something. Yeah, King K. And then um, again, more Kylie. I have my NYX lingeries in here. But yeah, there is that second liquid lipstick drawer. You can see the bottom drawer is a lot deeper. I had to save this one for my nudes and my mobs right here because these are my most favorite shades ever. Oh my goodness, I love this. Well, first off here, I have my Givenchy one, which is actually a coral, so it probably should be up with the other ones, but it's down here for some reason. And then also I have here are my Smashbox ones. I wish they came out with more cool tone nudes. All of their nudes that they came out with were all warm tone, so I was kind of bummed about that because I'm so in love with that formulation. It's amazing. But I have my Too Faced Melted, which I wear all the time. I have my Jeffree Star Cosmetics one, which I actually asked, got asked by, what's her name? Um, I totally forgot your name, girl, but I saw your comment about this smelling really bad. I actually just smelled this right before filming this, and I literally gagged. I was like, holy moly, this really does smell bad. It's not potent. I just put it up to my nose and took a whiff, and I was like, oh, put that down. That was nasty. So yes, it does smell bad. So over here we have a mix of like mauves and purples. It's just a mix. <laughs> so I have Too Faced here, more Too Faced. Um, I have more of my Smashbox as well. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, Jue, which I love. This is Leche. I love the shade Melon. I highly recommend Melon from the Jue ones. And yeah, this is the last drawer in my original beauty box. Okay, so next up here, I have all of my brushes. These are actually gonna get cleaned right after I get done filming this because I have got to clean my brushes. They are so bad. But I got these little containers. Um, I believe I got those at Target. I got those white ones in the dollar section at Target, which was crazy, but I think they're actually $3. So yeah, I got those white ones there. I got this at this gold one. I got that at Home Goods, and it actually has like a lid on top of it because I think it's supposed to be like a candle holder, but I'm using it for brushes, so I got rid of the lid. And then again, the pink one over there is from Target. I also have this one right here that it came in blue as well, which is from Target too. These are so cute, you guys. I believe these are little votives, but I use them for brushes. And again, my pink brushes are from SL Miss Glam. If you guys wanna get the brush book, you can save 40% off with 
Madison M, I believe. Again, all my coupon codes are always linked down below. If you guys are ever shopping, you can always check them out. But yeah, that's where all my pink brushes are from. I always get questions asked about that. And then right here, I just have some more decor. I had these little, I got these little boxes from Home Goods, so I just stacked them because they match the colors in my canvas right here. And then I got the flowers from Home Goods. Um, I already showed you guys where the brush thing was from and then the perfume bottle is from pure one and also with the hourglass that is also from pure one and then those little vases over here with those flowers in it those are actually from Ikea so those are really inexpensive as all right so first off this is my first drawer in my desk it's insane I have this thing jam packed it's crazy all right so first off over here on the left hand side are all of my mascaras I know it's insane I don't even buy mascara anymore I just always get them in subscription boxes or sent to me so that's why I have so many of them I'm just it's insane so there's all my mascaras and then right here in the center are all of my face primers so I have Laura Mercier in here which is actually old and needs to be thrown away it's actually almost empty too um, professional, Bare Minerals, um, I got this one from Target because I heard so many people raving about this. This was actually a product that was raved a ton about from the Pixie Woo sisters when I watched them like years and years ago, you guys, like probably three, four years ago, they raved about this. Same thing with Tanya Burr or whatever, Burr, I think that's how you say her name. So I tried it out and I loved the way that it made my makeup stay on all day. It was amazing, but it broke me out. So. I stopped using that. <laughs> I have my Jouer one, Morler Mercier. All right, so over here is actually some more primers and foundation mixers. So there's Becca, my NYX Pro Foundation Mixer, my Kevin Aquan Celestial Lighting, love that. Um, yeah, just a ton of more primers, which is crazy. All right, so back here I have some more little travel size primers. So back here are all of my red lip crayons that I don't know they're just chilling back there there's some maroon ones in there too and then back there right there I have all my little sunscreens so I have Kula I have the Tarte Guard I have all that all right so over here are a bunch of my lip crayons so these are mainly like nudes oh this is a red so that needs to go back there but um yeah bunch of lip crayons makeup forever um glow minerals Jeez beauty which is also a red needs to go back there um, yeah, I have a ton of them. I have my Fiona Styles. It's also really powdery because I always leave this open when I'm getting ready and I rest my elbow on it. So whenever I'm doing my translucent setting powder, it just falls all right in there, which is why it's so gross. Ew. All right. And then over here I have lip balms and then some little lip liners from ColourPop. This is just like a mess drawer right now. It's like seriously a junk drawer. I try organizing it, but it doesn't stay organized for very long. Um, and then I have all my Tarte lip crayons back here. So I didn't even color organize these. I just put all my Tarte ones back there. I love them. They're like one of my favorites. Yes. All right. So in the second drawer are all lip products. I guess, again, maybe, I don't know. It must go palettes, then lip products, and then... No, you know what? It might go lip products, palettes, and then blushes. I don't know. I just have a lot of makeup. So these are all lip glosses and like lip lacquers. So they are all color organized. And again, I use like these little ones, which are my favorite. And then this is another little divider that I got. I, th I will have that one linked down below. I don't even know who the brand was. On this side, I have all my nudes and like browns all mixed up in here because that's like my favorite color. And then I have corals and like bright pinks. And then over here I have all my Bite Beauty lip glosses. Right here I have all my lip lacquers and lip stains. And then back here I have like my darker colors. Kind of like the burgundies and the very deep like purples. And then on this side I have all my mauve shades. I have purples and then I have reds. So yeah, those are all of those. And then I also have some Kylie lip kits back there that I'm waiting to review. Cause again, I'm gonna be doing a whole review on all the newer shades. And then also I have some makeup wipes right here. All right, so now we're on to the right side of my desk. And this is my little like Alex six drawer right here. All right, so this is the very first drawer and I really love the small Alex drawers cause they're actually a lot deeper and you can pull them further out. So I really, really like these drawers. So in this drawer, all my single eyeshadows like color pops right here I have so many color pops they're all these little like individual dividers and then I have all my galactic ones I have some stuff that I got from ipsy bags um, 
this little MAC one right here. And then back here I have all my eyeshadow sticks and stuff. So I have like my Tarte one, I have NYX, um, what is this one right here? Maybelline. And then I also have my Clinique little single eyeshadows, which I love. These are my favorite. I have some pigments back here, more pigments that I just never use because they're just so messy. <laughs> and then over here in this corner are all my little gel pots for gel eyeliners. And then I also have some of my Oprah stuff right here as well. But yeah, that is my whole little eyeshadow drawer. All right, so this next drawer is just a mess. It is just all lashes, just thrown all around. It's a complete mess. I actually have to go through here and throw away some lashes that are just old, that just need to be tossed. But I have my SL Miss Glam, which I absolutely love. These are in Seduced Glam. Um, I have some more. Ooh, I really love these ones right here. These are Sweetly Glam because I love how they taper. Um, I have Lily Lashes, which are intense, you guys. They're very intense lashes. That is just basically my whole lash drawer. Oh my goodness, yes, we see it. Another lip drawer. So I actually had all these lipsticks in my lipstick tower, but I really don't like my lipstick tower. I feel like I can see everything a lot better this way. And I wasn't wearing most of my lipsticks and it's because I couldn't see them. So I just like having this right here and being able to see like the name of them and the color. I have them all color organized. So that way it's a lot easier to find them. So down here I have nudes and then I go mauves and then pinks, bright corals, uh, more of like the reds and then really bright pink and then purples and blues. But yeah, I just have a ton in here. All right, so next up we have palettes. These are my really huge palettes that won't fit over there. So I just kind of grabbed those. Also, this is actually, um, this right here is actually the wipeout palette with all the color correctors. I think I just stuck this over here because I had no more room for it. But I have my Laura Lee one, which I really love. I have Lorac, I have Urban Decay. Just basically all the palettes that are very awkward and thick and bulky. These ones are just awkwardly shaped because they'll hit the drawers if I try closing them. So I just have them all sitting right here. And then down here in this last drawer is just all of my hair care. So you have my straighteners, you have my curling irons, my hairspray, whatever hair products I am currently using are in here. And then I also have like an extra drawer in my closet right now that holds all my extra products. So I just kind of go shopping in there when I run out of something. But I'm going to show you guys that at a different time just because I have so much more organizing to do in that closet. But that's where I hold all my extra makeup and makeup that I haven't even touched. And sometimes I'll just go through it and give it away to people. And then I have a giveaway drawer in there too. So whenever I get products for the giveaways or if I get products from companies that I have duplicates of, I will throw it in that giveaway drawer. So that way everything is just really organized. But I will show you guys that closet in a future tour just because it's still a mess and there's still a lot more to be done. But yeah, this is my last drawer, which is just filled with my hair products rubber bands, um, curling irons, bobby pins, all that fun stuff. All right, so there's my whole makeup collection by my vanity and everything. Again, I do have a little bit more makeup in my closet, but it's not organized enough to be shown yet, so I will do that in a future video. But I kind of just wanted to show you guys the gist of what is behind in my background because I always get people requesting a makeup collection video, so this is like my main collection, and there also is just a little bit more makeup like throughout the room but I will show that in my beauty room tour once I get everything done. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup collection. If you guys did, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.